Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm making a little bucket or a little container for these little knit coasters that I made for a friend. I made four coasters. There is a pattern in my Etsy shop if you're interested. It's a very simple thing to knit and it just took one ball of cotton yarn. So I'm making a little container for them. I'm gonna put a bow around it and give it to my friend. Let's get started. The first thing I did to make my little coaster bucket is I measured I made a little pattern and I measured the size I needed and I decided that five and a half inches would be the um, size of the bottom of my little bucket. Just a tiny bit bigger than the coasters. After drawing the bottom of the bucket, I decided that the sides would be one inch. That's about how tall the um, coasters are after stacking them up. So I just added a little uh, one inch bar on all four sides of my pattern. Now I have a pattern and I'm going to be use, using this bias tape that has been folded so I don't really need to do any uh, pressing with it and I need two pieces of fabric and I will be cutting them using that paper pattern that I used and I'll just be cutting a large square and then cutting those tiny corner squares out after um, cutting the larger square out.
so as you can see I'm folding the corners of my little bucket right where I cut out those little square pieces and I'll just sew a small seam in all four corners with both of my fabrics. After getting both the inside and the outside of the bucket sewn together, the corners sewn, I double checked to see if it was the right size. I'm using a thread that matches my bias tape and I'm going to place it on the inside of my little bucket, open up the tape and align it with the raw edge there and I'm going to sew all the way around. I left a little excess when I started so that when I um, get to the end here I'm going to fold down the beginning of where I started sewing so that I can cover up the raw edges and then I'll lay that last piece right on top and I'll finish sewing and then I'll turn this right side out and I'll top stitch all the way around.
I really like the way this little bucket turned out. It will be fun to present this to my friend in its own little carrying case and I'm going to put a bow around it. I'll give it to her for, it's for a thank you gift and um, it was really simple to put together and it just really adds something special to these little coasters. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.